Rise and Shine Rwanda Good morning, you are watching Rise and Shine Rwanda with me, Irene Kanengwa. Coming up on today's Rise and Shine Rwanda. In our story of the day, we take a look at President Paul Kagame's speech at the United Nations General Assembly. In business, we have a chat with James Shaka, CEO of Isomo Technology. Well, all that and more still to come, but first, let's take a look at the news features. Foreigners or persons outside Rwanda can now adopt children in the country seven years after the Ministry of Gender and Family Promotion suspended the so-called inter-country adoption of Rwandan children. The suspension was lifted this month after government put in place mechanisms in line with the Hague Adoption Convention on the Protection of Children. According to the Ministry, among the procedures they were required to fulfill include the establishment of the National Children Commission, commitment through different laws, including the law relating to the rights and the protection of the child, law governing persons and family, and the ministerial order determining conditions for inter-country adoption. Minister Nira Safari said the child can be adopted abroad only after failing to find any Rwandan willing to take up the child through the existing Tumurere Mumuryango program. Ministry figures indicate that from 2012 to 2016, out of 3,223 children who lived in orphanages, 2,909 were adopted through the Tumurere Mumuryango program. Kenya's Electoral Commission says it has moved the date of the country's repeat presidential elections to October 26. It also said the Electoral Commission had not given the court access to its computer servers to disprove the charge by veteran opposition leader Raila Odinga that hackers infiltrated the commission system and altered the results. Kenyatta on Thursday denounced the nullification of his re-election as a blow to the democratic ideals Kenyans fought for, calling it a judicial coup. But in an interview with Al Jazeera, Odinga said that the Supreme Court was right to avoid the result. Earthquake kills more than 220 in central Mexico. For those who were alive in 1985, Tuesday's quake brought back familiar feelings experienced during the devastating earthquake that killed more than 10,000 people exactly 32 years ago. Mexican President Enrique Pena Nieto, who said on Twitter that he had been flying to Osaka when the tremor struck, returned to Mexico City on Tuesday afternoon where he called an emergency meeting. In a tweet, he warned Mexicans to review the damage, disconnect the lights and turn off gas before returning to their homes. He also visited the site of the collapsed school where the pupils were killed. 38 remained missing. Officials gave out the numbers of shelters and hostels for those needing a place to stay. Welcome back to Rise and Shine, Rwanda's story of the day with me, Irene Kanengwa. Welcome back to Rise and Shine Rwanda and now the story of the day. President Paul Kagame has said that Rwanda supports the planned United Nations reforms. 
noting that it will improve efficiency of the world organization while he was addressing the 72nd United Nations General Assembly in New York on Wednesday, attended by global heads of state and leaders of international organizations. Among the major issues that have stood out in the ongoing assembly is the need to implement the reforms to the UN, improve conflict resolution mechanisms and work together towards mitigating climate change. Let's take a look. The assembly will now hear an address by His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome to the United Nations His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of, of Rwanda, and to invite him to address the Assembly. Excellency President of the General Assembly, Excellencies, Heads of State and the Government, Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Every year, the United Nations channels billions of dollars in humanitarian assistance. It also sets the global agenda on key policy issues from development to women's rights while providing a platform for major international agreements. These are signs of an organization that is both relevant and in many cases competent. And yet, there is a sense that the United Nations is not meeting our needs and expectations. In this context, I would like to commend the Secretary General and congratulate you, Mr. President, for the two important initiatives the Secretary General championed this week on United Nations reform and response to sexual exploitation and abuse. These steps go to the heart of the matter, the deficit of trust and accountability in the international system. To be truly effective at delivering a decent life for all, the United Nations must treat all the people it serves with impartiality and respect, and it must be a good steward of the funds entrusted to it. Abuse and waste are therefore not a mere public relations problem, but an existential challenge which must be tackled head on. The Secretary General deserves our full support to make the United Nations not only effective, but transformational. We have the tools and the mandates to address the global challenges of our day from climate change to peace building to human equality and development. Where we fall short is in getting things done. Institutional reform is not a one-off event, like applying a fresh coat of paint. The essence of reform is a mindset of constantly striving to improve performance and delivery and holding ourselves responsible for shortcomings and results. In this case, the reform spirit that has started to take root in both the United Nations and the African Union is encouraging and Rwanda is happy to be associated with both. This positive momentum also positions the United Nations and the African Union to work more closely together. Concrete steps can be taken on both sides.
to improve the quality of coordination and consultation. The African Union and the United Nations are already good partners in peacekeeping, and Rwanda is happy and proud to have forces serving under both flags. But we can do much more and do it better. We also share the common objective to meet the Sustainable Development Goals and Africa's Agenda 2063 targets, as well as continue to enhance women's empowerment. Closer collaboration will help us bridge the growing digital divide through universal broadband access, which connects our people to networks of knowledge and prosperity. Canada and Rwanda, together with other stakeholders, are working to raise awareness of the tremendous impact we can have right away by ratifying the, and implementing the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol. This is among the most important actions that a country can take to directly tackle climate change and reaffirm the commitment to the Paris Agreement. Fewer than 15 additional ratifications are needed in order for the Kigali Amendment to come into force in 2019. Mr. President, distinguished delegates, our world faces difficult challenges, but no more so than in the past. Working together in a constructive spirit, we can assure our children the future they deserve. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your kind attention. Welcome back. In business today, we bring you an upcoming entrepreneur who started a business website called Isomo, where you can access past national exams and theory driving exams.
Joining us in studio today is Mr. Shaka James, CEO Isomo Technology. You're most welcome, sir. Thank you so much. How are you? How are you feeling? Everything is going on well. Everything is okay. Yeah. Tell us about this website. How is how is it? How is how is the website? What is it all about? Yeah, actually the company is Somo Technology as you have said it, but it has a soft archive website where you can find first papers for primary six, senior three, senior six in all combination, plus past papers for provisional driving. COD. Mm. So even there, we are also working on that project so that we maybe the coming week, mm. the way somebody is just finding it today, how it is, when he comes tomorrow, he finds that there is something that has already improved on it. Mm. So this project is going to help, the, this website is going to help students, teachers, mm. Even other people who are who wants to do driving school exams. Mm, you just said it is uh, uh, you have past papers, primary level, secondary, and yeah, secondary up to a level. Yeah. Uh, it, does it stop there? How about uh, university? What is your group target like? So right now we are just focusing. We we are focusing on students who are who wants to access the past papers using ICT. Even that. 4G that we are we have here in Rwanda, mm -hmm. but the coming days we will also work with the universities, mm. even the universities abroad, even here in Rwanda, so that the students can know the how many do you, universities do you have here in Rwanda, mm. how how many courses the the bachelor degrees that they are here in Rwanda. So mm. where can I go to study that one? So we are going also to work with different universities so that we can work together to improve our education. Mm. What inspired you to come up with this, such a website? Was there anything lacking in our education system or something? Actually, first of all, I studied here in Rwanda. It was so hard for us when we were in primary six to find the past papers for different years. Mm. Even Troncome, even senior six. But also it was a lack here in Rwanda. You find that uh, the teachers are this. Some teachers are here. They are completing their bachelor team. When they go to different schools around the country, mm. but it is so hard to find those papers. But this website is coming up. Uh, is going to come. It also, it is coming up to help those teachers around the country to access those papers in different years, and also to help the students who are going to do national exams. Mm. Yeah. When did you start and what has been the response so far? Actually, I started, in, I started this website in 2015, in November, but it came out in July. That's when it started operating? Yeah, yeah it came out in July. Mm. And uh, up to this time, we have 34 people who have already accessed the website. 34,000? Mm, actually. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. It's quite, it's, it shows people are positive about it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if we may ask, like, uh, um, was there any resistance, yeah, from maybe the teachers or the or from the traffic because they usually also come up with past papers maybe they use these past papers they bring them back during examinations was there anything like any resistance or something but if you check like in to the past papers for 2015 mm -hmm. in literature in literature and english even the past paper for 2000 2014 in literature and english it is the same Mm. Completely That's the why same. I asked, wasn't yeah. there any arguments about you coming up with these past papers yet? They reuse them. But actually for this time, all the people are so excited with this project. Mm. And that is why uh, you find that most of, many people are also visiting. Mm. But uh, up to this time, you can also find their answers mm. on that website. But accessing the past paper, it is free to everyone. But accessing their answers, that is where you have to pay. But paying is not an, it is not the first step. Mm -hmm. You have to create account. So we want the students to know how to use emails, mm -hmm. to create their emails. 
even the teachers they have to use their emails here in Rwanda we talk about 4G but 4G is not going to come up when you we start story by story mm. when students uh, when students use their emails so that is where they we come up with another step from this step to another one mm. so that is what we are also working and we are helping also the students around the country mm. to those who don't have the emails we help them to create those emails and we tell them the purpose of the email actually the journey of uh, education is quite along and it involves so many people uh, talk about the students talk about the teachers and the parents i've not had parents anywhere is there any part they come in so actually when we talk about the parent they are in two ways mm. they are teachers also they, those are parents actually yes. but also they are our family mm. so we are helping for if you access the answers you have to pay and we know that all the students don't have the money. Yeah. So that is where we are encouraging the, mm. the parents, even the schools, to help those students, to help our students, to help their students to access their answers. Mm. So that is where they come in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. If finally we are coming to the conclusion, yeah. what is the next expansion plan? What do we expect in this website? But, for the future um, yeah we are expecting so many things on this website because you can also find there the past papers even the trust clues mm. so and as we all know there are so many accidents we hear I mean, we hear the accidents mm. there around the country we are also this website is also coming to avoid forging or forging of the those provision of driving license mm. so and they are going to study online they are going to know the traffic rules and the traffic rules is not supposed to be known by only those people who have the cars. Mm. Even those people who are walking, they are supposed to know the traffic rules. Exactly. So this, is, this project is coming up to help people around the country to know the, the traffic rules. Even for the students to help them, it is going to help them to pass mm. the exams. So that is what we are doing actually. Oh, thank you so much for being part of the thank show. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was Mr. Shaka Jem, CEO Isomo Technology. Please check out the website for you to learn more. Don't forget to love to hear your thoughts, comments and feedback on what we are talking about here on Rise and Shine Rwanda. Tweet us at Rise and Shine RW, like us on Facebook, and send us your ideas for programs. Check out our Rise and Shine Rwanda YouTube page where you can catch all the shows and reports we do. Find us on Instagram, Rise and Shine RW. We love to see your pics or check out our Rise and Shine Rwanda website. Well, that's all that we have time for today. We love to hear your feedback and do let us know if you have any idea for the program. You've been watching Rise and Shine Rwanda with me, Irene Kanhingwa. But for now, for me and the rest of the Rise and Shine team, wish you a lovely day. <laughs>